Hi guys, I had some spare time and I felt I felt drawn to do a reading for Gen X or the very, very early border, we call it cusping, right, <laughs> of Gen X. So let's see, what is the message that I'm so drawn to give you, right? I have no idea, but I <laughs> just felt like I just I just need to do a reading for those guys. Okay, as a collective, as a whole. I read somewhere before they called it uh, Gen X. Um, we was called the Nomads, and makes perfect sense to me. I'm always watching nomads um, that still exist in the mountains of Afghanistan and those sort of Himalayan places. Um, so it makes perfect sense to me that I should have been a nomad and always on the move. Um, the builders, the dreamers, the lovers um, were in search of that love that we never got, this Nine of Cups, it's looking for this Ace of Cups, right? This love that um, wasn't given so freely in our childhood. <laughs> it wasn't how we love our children and grandchildren these days, right? Maybe we had uh, grandparents that was very loving and things like that, and parents that was trying to do their best to get us through, but it's very different to how love and emotions and feelings are understood today. Um, it's like, one thing you should know, Gen X, everything you touch will turn to gold. Your builders, your creators, you start from the bottom. So yes, you have the struggle, but everything you certainly put your heart to will turn to gold. You are builders, you creators, you're the golden child as I call you on my channel. You're the generation that's breaking all those generational curses and cycles. Uh, how you know you was treated, maybe you overly gave to your millennial children and now you know um, when we touch everything and it turns to gold doesn't necessarily mean it's a positive, right? I know I've got I've got millennium kids too, <laughs> so I'm not very no shade. Uh, probably we spoiled them with love and things like that um, that we didn't get right. Um, so yeah, I feel you're forever in search of that love. You're forever uh, have this you know carrot dangled in front of you of love and that's what keeps you going and that's what you're chasing, this ninth cup, that um, je ne sais quoi, that X factor, that, that thing, <laughs> that unknown thing that always seems to be out of your grasp here. Um, one thing though, you're abundant with it. Within you, this Nine of Cups, the Nine is related to the Hermit, within you swims this ocean of love that seems never ending, that you're giving to everybody else. You got your arms crossed here, so you are in this defensive stance. Um, you know, you are trying to protect the fruits of your labor now, the fruits of your love and things like that. Um, royalty here um you know on a in a class of your own that's what it feels like right segregation um being this nine of cups on your own like everything you faced everything you've gained everything you've got it's on you you got it how you tell for peacocks healthy is its feathers right so uh, you know, everybody around you, you will bring into bloom, you'll make your whole team healthy, you'll make people who come into contact with you feel this abundance and this energy that 
you know, at times you probably haven't often realised that you was giving away so freely. The ones who are, you know, always doing and giving. As, it's like a charity worker. It's like you're this charity of your own doing, giving to everything. And, you know, you can make things happen for other people. But it seems like in order to heal yourself, it has been this journey to find this self-love. And know that this is within you. Know that this is a beauty within you. I think probably if we looked at the rest of the nines, we could probably see that you've travelled all those as well. You know, um, so I definitely feel that, you know, it's been this journey of self on your own and working hard. But you have this mind as touch for love. It just always seems to elude you. And I feel like, you know, again, with the gold being very strong, firm, holding its value. Like, I feel like that's you. That just describes you. You hold your beauty. You hold your value. You hold your dignity. It's probably because we had people like Whitney Houston, right, telling us you can take away everything, but you can't take away my dignity. And this is it. And I feel like... People on the outside probably don't know that you don't love yourself this much. Like, you don't. You give them that love this much. But within you, it's very protected here with the arms crossed. It's very defence mode um, after a number of things that you've had to turn to gold and then they turn cold towards you, right? That's the lesson of King Midas. He wants to everything he touches to turn to gold, but then when he touches fruit, he he, he can't eat it. When he touches his pets, you know, or uh, loves his pets, and then they can't love him back anymore. When he touches his daughter, she also turns to gold, but you know he's lost the love of his daughter. He can't communicate with her anymore. So you might find yourself like. The way you love, the way you give love, you might find yourself isolated in this world, even from your own children, even from your own pets. It's like nobody gets you. Except us other Gen X's, right? And you didn't want it to be this frozen solid gold. You wanted it to be this free flowing ace of cups. You wanted it to be community. You wanted it to be love. You wanted it to be said, felt, appreciated. You know, you wanted this love to be able to feed you, to grow you, to feed others, to grow others. You wanted to be able, everything you touch, to turn to gold so you could spread that abundance. So it's more like this watery energy is frozen for you rather than flowing. So... The thing is, in order for you or anybody to do their work, they need this uh, carrot dangled in front of their face, right? They need to know that there's something to chase. So you love being on your own, but you want this deep, passionate love. You want to be understood, but nobody un understands you. You enjoy standing on your own and being independent, but you want somebody to take care of you. You just want a place where this gold is no longer hard and a beautiful soft surroundings, the clouds, the birds, the fish in the sea, the peacock here that we can see, the feathers, we want them all to be, you know, brought to life. It feels like you've done for others most of your life and then been it's like you build somebody up and then they move away from you oh two cards <laughs> okay gen x what you got for me next let's see eight of pentacles six of cups 
that special soulmate, the one that you'll love eternally. <clears throat> it was your spiritual catalyst the one that caused you to grow, um, caused you to see the beauty in life? That's the Six of Cups. We remembering things more positively or more negatively than they actually happened. But without a doubt, this love caused you to grow, to reach, to expand, to transform, to grow others, to seem to never run out of batteries, you know, this infinity loop, to always keep going and keep giving and keep building. And when things are down, you pick things back up. And, you know, it's just this never ending loop of you, right? doing and doing and doing and probably even asking yourself like how much more can I do this for like I said you retained your strength your beauty your elegance your dignity there's this one person that either sparked this transformation in you where you want to change for the better or you want to start this nomad journey you want to go in a different direction you don't want to just be endlessly giving and losing people or you know building people up and then them never coming back to you there's something within you here that started this change so from nine of cups we've gone to six of cups we've learned through loss of love so maybe in the beginning it was neglect of love and then we found love and then we learned through the loss of love, six of cups. Always having to build, always having to move and start again, always having to do so on your own. But what remains is the cups, the love and the energy that's given to you. That's afforded to you, this is for you. This is to help you. It's like you're a battery source for everybody you come into. And I know we don't just constantly want to be batteries for other people. We want to be recharged as well. You want to know when this love will return to you. When will love be returned? Six of Cups. You're looking for the answers. You're doing the work, but you're looking in this book for the answers. Where's the answers? I'm studying everything. I'm studying from the Greeks to the Egyptians, from the Mayans, <laughs> everything. You're looking, right? You're looking for the answer. What is the answer here? It's the only thing that eludes you in this world. You might know the answer to everything with the Nine of Cups. But this is the only thing that eludes you. And I don't think the answer eludes you. I feel like what you're looking for is confirmation from outside and people to tell you, you're right, the whole world is disconnected. Um, and it's not a good thing. We should be having community. We should be able to embrace love, feel love, communicate love, grow love, feed with love. Right? Six of Wands. So you've overcome many lessons. These sixes are letting us know that you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. You are overcoming spiritual lessons. You, you have victory here. I know a lot of the times that it can feel like <sighs> you are alone but we see these guides with you. Just imagine if we had four sixes come out. I, when I seen this, it, it made me think of four sixes. So six, 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 six. It's a sign that your spirit is full of compassion and love and you are being guided. And this is what I'm seeing here is that forces have been sent to you, put within you, and your guides want you to know that you have a great impact around other people. 
you should put their influence to good use by making positive changes in your own life now. And I think that's the key. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing here. Instead of for everybody else, this loss of this love is making the changes happen for you. And you will be successful. You will have victory. And again, we shall overcome. Wow, Ace of Swords. You will have a breakthrough. You'll have a breakthrough in this clarity, this ascension, this lifetime. Like, you will have to go through cutting cords with everybody to then reconnecting with everybody, with the world. You're not disconnected from the energy of the world or the vibration of the world. You probably feel it the most. But your original idea of this original love flowing community, you'll have a breakthrough. And you'll realise that you also need to reconnect with people and you want and desire people and you need that community of people around you. Because like up here, you no longer want to be in the hard or the outside or whatever. I mean, when you try to dim to fit in, it doesn't, it doesn't work at all. So you're going to find your place. You're going to have a breakthrough here. Communication, judgment. Yeah, it's time for this breakthrough. It's time for this reconnection. Right? You've been disconnected your whole life, but you was given certain forces, um, certain love and certain compassion that was inside you. And you've always been looking for it on the outside, but it's inside you. And you're going to have that breakthrough. Because now's the time. It's judgment time. And if some of you are waiting for somebody or love to be returned or to return to you, now's the time. Ace of Swords. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Wonderful. Things are changing. Things are changing for Jan X. I feel like what's changing is you're finding each other. You're finding each other with the Six of Wands. You're finding like-minded people. You're finding your soul tribe. This will change the fortune. You'll no longer have to sacrifice your own heart here for everybody else. You find people who will give energy back to you. Other batteries that will give energy back to you. And that just changes the game for you. Meditation. This is uh, a major arcana just to this deck. So it's about rethinking, rewiring, regenerating first yourself, but then your community. Finding each other, lifting each other, growing each other, re-energizing each other because... Gen X has been isolated, but, you know, we would look at the internet as a blessing and a curse. And so far, it's probably brought more loss, distraction into your life. So going back to basics and starting again is not a terrible thing. Going back to doing what's interesting to you, it's not a terrible thing because you'll find your people in these places. You have a strong connection with your love life. You're able to have an extremely powerful intuition, Ace of Cups. Extremely power powerful. Um, I guess... I guess that, just like the internet, it can be a blessing and a curse, right? Uh, you're preaching to the choir here. Um, <laughs> but this extremely powerful intuition, it's been gained from 
are having to know your next step ahead before it even happened to to have to be able to predict things before they even happen in order to protect your being so now use that as your superpower you're no longer having to be in an energy of protecting yourself there's a lot of things around you that are coming in to guide you and protect you so now you have to use that intuition for the greater good there is a sign here that you will be spending um, some a lot of time in love. There's doors opening here. Uh, it's like you're getting off the karmic wheel. You've done your time. <laughs> um, I don't know which lifetime you did the crime, but you've done the time. <laughs> so you're getting off the karmic wheel. It's spinning up for you. So you will spend time with love here. Um, and now you've learned how to re-love yourself and change and, you know, learn when to turn your battery off. Uh, this love will be brand new and refreshing to you. It's a time where you're reassessing your life. If you have a romantic partner, this is saying to you, refocus on that love, renewal of love with the Ace of Cups or an offer of love with the Ace of Cups. Finally having that breakthrough. It's now time. <laughs> That's why I shuffle on camera. That's why I shuffle on camera. It is time. It's time for your union. time for you to find that other person with that ace of cups so you can offer it to each other here so I guess that's why people needed me to do a gen x reading good luck guys <laughs>